Hello and welcome to CI Tech 900 Introduction to the Innovative Educators Certificate. This is a unique program offered through a partnership between Q and Fresno Pacific University. My name is Mary Bennett and I am thrilled to be working with all of you. I have been involved with professional development courses at FPU since 1985 and have had first-hand experience with the global impact of technology on education. I also work as an instructional designer at Fresno State, helping faculty in the design and development of online and hybrid courses through consultations and training. The purpose of this screencast is to introduce you to the introductory course, which covers the details of the program. There are 10 simple and quick steps you will need to complete in order to ensure that you are prepared to begin the IEC. Before beginning these steps, you will want to read the important information located above this video. Information included in this book are the syllabi for all courses, the rubrics for assignments, how to prepare for the synchronous sessions, as well as resources for citing information. Once you go through this material, you are ready to begin the 10 steps outlined on this slide. The first step is the syllabus and schedule. Make sure and read the syllabus in its entirety and make note of the important dates, such as when assignments are due and when synchronous sessions are. The second step gets you connected with the tools that are utilized throughout the IEC. You will want to create a Google account if you have not yet done so. The certificate utilizes Google tools heavily, so this account is important. You may even want to consider creating an account just for the certification. There are several ways that you can stay connected to the program while enrolled and once you complete. We are using Remind, a free app to send out text messages. On Twitter, you can use the hashtag IEC to follow and tweet. Make sure you accept the IEC Google Plus Communities invite. And finally, for those of you on Facebook, make sure and like Q. As you progress through the program, you will also discover other social media tools that you may want to explore further. In step three, you will get to know the major stakeholders in the IEC program, as well as introduce yourself to your classmates in our Google Plus community. You will also take a poll indicating what grade you teach. This poll will help you connect with others at your grade level. You also may want to consider connecting with others in the course and finding a time that meets all of your schedules to interact on the discussion forums or in the Google Plus community. The What's Your Tablet poll will let us know the type of device you will be using. This information will be shared with the lead learners so they will be able to tailor the sessions to best meet your needs. The fourth step introduces you to Moodle. The certificate program is delivered totally online using Moodle, the e-learning software used to deliver online courses. You will have the opportunity to explore the most common Moodle tools through a demonstration site. The core courses in the IEC program will require you to post your assignments and reflections to your ePortfolio. However, the electives may require you to submit in Moodle, so it is important that you are comfortable using this tool. Throughout the IEC, you will be adding artifacts to your ePortfolio created in Google Sites. You will be provided with a template that you are encouraged to customize. Your ePortfolio will include your reflective blog postings, at least one signature assignment for each course, and information about electives you selected. You will also be required to post a reflection for each of the artifacts explaining why you selected the chosen assignment and how it will impact your teaching. The purpose of the ePortfolio is to not only serve as a showcase of signature assignments, which can be used for interviewing and career advancement, but to organize and present evidence of learning through an active, conscious, reflective process. In this module, you will become familiar with Q, its, affiliate, its affiliates, and all they have to offer educators and how they advance student achievement through technology. You will have the opportunity to register and become a Q member and interact with other members through various forms of social media. In order to register for Q, you will need to wait for the code sent directly from the organization. As a participant in the IEC, you will be interacting with your cohort as well as past cohorts. This is a vibrant community which allows you to truly become a connected educator. Each week you are required to post and I am sure you will find yourself coming back to the site many times throughout the week to see what is new. Step 7 outlines the requirements for this very important component of the IEC. In Step 8 you will join DEGO the social bookmarking site we will use to organize the readings for the CI Tech 901 Innovative Pedagogies course. 
While you are encouraged to suggest resources in Google+, we ask that you do not add sites directly in Digo. Get ready to be inspired in Step 9. You will begin to think about your final project. You don't have to have a solid plan, just some initial thoughts. Your project will evolve and grow over the course of the certification. There are some awesome examples of how individuals are transforming education through the use of technology. The project should share innovative technologies with a larger audience going beyond the walls of the classroom and outside your school site while infusing the national educational technology standards as well as the Common Core. You will want to think about creating a buzz in education with a global audience to share innovation with other educators. You will be working on this project over the six-month certification, incorporating what you are learning in the courses. The final project culminates in the final course, the Innovative Education Project. In Step 10, you'll explore the approved FPU electives, the reporting requirements, and propose a plan for completion. You will find links to all of the approved electives and contact information for the instructors, who you are encouraged to contact with any questions. When planning your elective sequence, you will want to refer to the IEC calendar. Each elective is three units, so plan accordingly and consider taking them when you are enrolled in a one-unit course and completing the bulk of the assignments within the minimum three-week time frame. In this module, you will look back on what you have learned about the IEC and reflect upon how this program will impact your teaching. You will be required to post a reflective blog entry on your Google site summarizing what you have learned about the IEC. Finally, you will include your initial ideas for the Innovative Education Project. You will also want to make sure and complete the Are You Ready poll. These are a few notes about the synchronous sessions. First of all, the sessions are mandatory, but we realize that life happens, so if you have to miss, let your instructor know as soon as possible. All workshops and sessions with the cohort instructor are recorded, and those recordings are made available so you will be able to view them to complete your blog post. Keep in mind, if you do miss a session and have to do this, you will lose points. For the most part, sessions are held in Blackboard Collaborate. We use Google Hangouts for the project checkpoints. These checkpoints are held three times prior to the final course. They are pretty informal and are designed to keep you on track with your project, as well as bounce ideas off your cohort. You are also encouraged to post your project ideas and progress in the IEC Google Plus community at any time. Make sure and bring any questions you have to one of the required synchronous sessions in this course. You are also welcome to either send an email to your instructor, post your question in the virtual office, or in the IEC Google Plus community. I look forward to meeting and working with all of you over the next six months. It will be a wild and fun ride as we all become innovators in education.